Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to build an automatic AFK fish farm for your Minecraft world. This design uses a large body of water to obtain treasure loot and fish while being able to AFK as well. You will need to locate an ocean of some variation and build the farm there. Before we get into the tutorial, these are some of the resources that you'll be required to use to build this fish farm. To make sure we are building this in the right location, we want to grab our fishing rod and make sure we can catch treasure loot where we are going to be building our farm. Now that we've found our area that we want to build in, we're going to go ahead and place two wool right here. We can then place our skulk sensor on top of that. Grabbing our sticky piston, we can now place it facing upwards, followed up by a building block here, a temporary one here, and another building block right there. We can then remove this building block. We now want to go ahead and place wool on all three sides of the skulk sensor. We can also now place a wool on the sticky piston. We can now place a temporary block here and another wool block right there. We can now destroy that temporary block and then build up a further three blocks on this one here, making it a total of four. We can now bring the rest up to that level. The purpose of this wool is to shield the skulk sensor from picking up any other vibrations other than the ones we want them to. To cap off this area, we're going to place an iron trap door right here. Now we can place a piece of wool on top of this trap door and then one to the left and the right. We want to make sure we leave this one open. We're now going to hook up this skulk sensor to this trap door, so we're going to place a building block here, a temporary block there, and another building block right there. Remove this temporary block, then we can place redstone right here, followed up by a repeater facing this way set to four ticks. What we can do then is pillar up a couple of blocks and place redstone here, here, and here. As you can see, this is now wired up correctly. Jumping up to our area right here with the trap door, we're going to place a pressure plate right here, and this is going to stop water from flowing into our area. We then want to build back four glass blocks for a little walkway. We're now going to place a piece of soul sand right here, and what this is going to do is it's going to send the fishing rod upwards so we can pick up our fish. Grabbing our glass, we want to place a piece of glass there and do the same on the right hand side. We can now bring these out a further two blocks, making them a total of three. We can now grab our building blocks and build a temporary block right here, and then to the left and the right side, we're going to place one more block out, and we're going to do the same with the back. Leaving these three blocks internal, we're going to create a perimeter around the outside with our glass. Exactly like this. Grabbing our trap doors, we want to place two trap doors right here to block the water out and make sure it goes down to that point. To finish this area off, we're going to jump down here and place a sign right behind this iron trap door, just like I have right there. We're now going to create a glass perimeter wall so we can start filling in our water. So we're going to place a temporary building block there, followed up by two building blocks, and then another temporary block right there, followed up by two building blocks. We now want to place glass all the way along just like this, followed up by a building block, a temporary building block, a building block, and then some more glass. You can do this completely out of glass if you would like to, however, I'm kind of giving it a little decorative look. Once you've created this little fish bowl, what we can do is remove this block right here and go around and remove our temporary blocks underneath. Jumping inside our so-called fish bowl, we're going to create an infinite water source inside so we can start filling up our fish tank. Grabbing our water buckets, we're going to slowly fill up this fish bowl, so we're going to start by placing a water source here and a water source there. We can now grab these two buckets of water again, destroy this infinite water source, and we can start filling up our fish bowl. Start by placing a water bucket here and a water bucket there. We can now infinitely start grabbing water from this point and moving it along just like this. 
As you can see, this whole area has now become water sourced. So we now want to do the exact same thing with the layer above. As you can see right here, we now have a fully water sourced area. The required dimensions for treasure loot are five by two deep by five. Hence why we've got a five by five by two deep fish bowl. Coming to the right side of our farm, we are going to place a glass block and then remove this glass block and place a chain. We can then break this glass block and place a pressure plate right here. We now want to jump over to this piece of glass right here and build out a further two blocks. We also now want to grab our walls and place a wall here, build it out one, then come towards in one and then another out one. We can now remove these three blocks right here. Coming back towards these two blocks, we're now going to grab our spruce boat and we're going to place the boat right on top of this glass. We now want to jump over in this direction right here and remove these two blocks. We can now remove this piece of glass. As you can see, this boat will drop down to the chain level, which is exactly what we want. We now want to mount the boat and head towards this wall right here. We want to jam it underneath this wall, just like I have, and then tilt it on a little bit of an angle. As you can see right here, the boat is on a slight bit of an angle, which is exactly what we want. When you're doing it, the boat may naturally pull itself straight. You just need to reverse it a little bit and come in on a bit more of an angle until it holds just like this. We can now go ahead and grab our glass and place a temporary glass there, there, and there. We can now remove this glass right here and place our boat on top of this glass. We can now destroy this wall. We can now jump inside this boat and wheel it towards this glass wall right here and then dismount. We can now jump on top of this glass and away and remove both pieces of glass. As you can see right here, this gives us the perfect height for our boat to pick up the bobble of the fishing rod. Now coming to the side the trap doors are on, we're going to place a double chest right here. We can now place a hopper facing into that double chest. We can now place glass right here, here, a temporary block right there and a glass right there. We can now remove this block and remove this one as well. What this does is the player will be able to gain the XP from down there, but he won't be able to obtain the treasure loot or any loot. So what this does, it brings the loot to the top and pushes it into this hopper and down into our chest. We now want to do the exact same thing for the other side. Due to latency issues, this farm may break if you are on a multiplayer server and you have poor latency. However, if you have good latency, it can also still play up. So you can simply try this out and if it breaks, you may need to add this slow fading clock. I highly recommend sticking around to the end of the video where I explain how the farm works. Or you can skip to the end, of course. If you need to add one of these slow fading clocks, we're going to remove this wool block right here and build out nine blocks. We can then bring this out to the left as well. We can now go ahead and place a redstone repeater facing in this direction. We can now place a piece of redstone followed up by a target block to the left. We now want to grab our comparators and place four facing in this direction right here. We can now return it around the other way, placing four comparators facing in this direction. We're now going to place two more pieces of redstone right here, and then what we're going to do is grab our comparators, place one facing this way as you can see the rest do, and then on the other line we're going to place one facing in this direction. We can now cap this off with two more pieces of redstone. We can now go ahead and place a redstone torch right here, and this will immediately turn off. We can now build out two blocks in this direction and then another two at this height. On this redstone dust area right here, we're going to place two blocks on top of each other. We can now place a repeater facing this way and then the remaining areas with redstone. We now want to grab our sticky piston right here and place it upwards. What we can do then is place a target block on top of that 
followed up by two more building blocks. You can now place a repeater facing this way set to three ticks. With the remaining redstone, we're going to place a redstone dust here, then another building block right here, followed up by two more pieces of redstone. As you can see, this completes the redstone area. To make it so you can turn off this clock, you can simply stick a lever on here so when you are not using the farm, you can flick this off. We can also place wool right here, here, and then a temporary block here and another piece of wool right there. This will block any other sounds that the skull sensor can detect. We can now remove this block. Now I'm going to show you how this farm works. To AFK this farm for an infinite amount of time, you're going to require mending on your fishing rod. What this does is it allows the XP you receive from fish to heal your fishing rod at the same time that you're using this farm. To run this farm, what we're going to do is stand on this pressure plate right here, and then we're going to flick open this trap door. We can now move to our right, cast our fishing rod into this wool block, look down at our sign holding right click, and then press F3 and T at the exact same time. This will reload our resource packs, and I do not have my hand on the mouse at all. So it will continually cast the rod up and down until you harvest fish, or catch them of course. So as you can see right there, we've just caught a fish, with the new achievement of course. While standing here fishing, you may receive some of the loot in your inventory. If you do not want to receive the loot in your inventory and you want it to go all in the chest, you can simply fill up your entire inventory with a block. Or if you want more storage space, you can simply leave it and pick up all the related blocks in your inventory and once you're full, it will go into the chests. I feel like I should also add, you can add more storage if you would like, this is just the basic storage. So that is how you build an automatic AFK fish farm in Minecraft. If you found this video useful, it would mean a lot to me if you could leave a like on the video, and if you want to see some more videos just like this one, be sure to subscribe. This farm design is owned by Ray's Works, so be sure to go check out his channel by clicking the link in the description. So thank you so much for tuning into this video. A special thanks to my Patreons, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!